Welcome to Hacking with Python 4. What is a port scanner? Every video will have all slideshows and code available in the description. This will be a rather short video. First of all, what is a port? I encourage you to read more about ports and networking concepts, but the basic idea of a port is a virtual slot on a device that accepts only information specified for it. It may be easier to think of this as a mail system. Lots of mail comes into the post office, and the only way to know where it needs to go is the number on the letter that matches the number on the post box. The system is so devices receiving the data know what to do with it. For example, packets coming in with the port 80 is HTTP traffic, so it's sent to your web browser to be viewed. Okay, so we know what a port does. What is a port scanner? Well, a port scanner is mostly used locally, so on a local area network or LAN and it's used to find out what machines on the network have ports listening for information. While there's a few different types of scans a port scanner can do, we'll only look at two of them, Full Connect and Sync Act. A full three-way handshake is the process of trying to connect to a device's port if we get an acknowledgement response and then we connect to it, then the port is open. Then there's the Sync Act, which is great because it doesn't require the full three-way handshake. Once it gets any response from the device, it knows the port's open. So why use a port scanner? Well, reconnaissance is a great first step in any cyber assault. It gives you a rough idea of the network's layout and setup, as well as any possible immediate vulnerabilities. Many computers and devices have vulnerabilities on unprotected ports. Knowing what devices have ports open can also help you protect your own network by closing ports that are open and shouldn't be or aren't being used. Then there's Nmap. Nmap is a great tool. It allows for all sorts of different network scans and runs great. While Nmap was written in C and Lua, it outputs XML, so people have been nice enough to make a Python module to take advantage of that. In a later tutorial, we'll install Nmap and install the module for Python and make more efficient and hard to detect port scanners using the sync hack method. Note, if you're already running something like Kali or Backtrack, you will already have Nmap installed. I hope you now have a better understanding of what a port scanner does. Don't fear if you don't remember all this, you can easily come back and rewatch the video to consolidate all the information. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments and I'll try my best to answer it. Next we'll be writing a basic port scanner using a full TCP handshake. Thanks for watching.